So um, as of like, you know, as of up until now, Valve and Steam, which is the most popular PC gaming platform, if you're playing PC games, you're playing on Steam nine times out of ten, right? Absolutely. Locked out of Steam <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> Unless you've been, been cheating. <laughs> yeah. Unless you're like, you know, cheating on Valve. Um, yeah. So they've been rejecting games that um, where developers have been using AI to generate content and, and can, content can be anything right content can be art in the game could be levels um could be npc dialogue could be whatever the case is right so they've been rejecting it um because it's a great area in terms of like what are these ai models trained on and you know that's this is an ongoing thing that's not going to change anytime soon you got new york times suing Ch- uh, open ai for a billion dollars whatever the case is that's no, not going to go through but right? go on but you know, whatever the case yeah, is. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the reason why Valve um, has been blocking AI content isn't because, at, up until now, isn't because they're taking a moral stance on AI. It's because it's unknown at this point. So basically, now they've come out to say we're going to allow AI content on Steam, and and the post is called AI content on Steam. And mm. so they've spent time talking with developers, learning about AI and game development, and. They plan to release the vast majority of games that use AI, which is probably going to be a ton of games. And Steam already has like thousands of games released daily. It's like an insane amount. But anyway, so so they're basically creating like a new rules for AI and okay. developers using AI for games, but also for players as well. So if you're a gamer, you're going if an, a game is using AI on the Steam Storm page, it will say uh, developers need to disclose that um, how the game uses AI. It'll like right. it maybe maybe it'll say this game uses XAI to generate player avatars or something like that, and that might be the okay. only thing it does or whatever the case is. Um, what is well, right, just just sorry, but what is live generated AI content? So this is where it gets tricky, right? So live generated AI is AI being generated on the fly. So let's say you're playing an online game, okay, and um, you're speaking to like an npc so the, the most common example would be what nvidia showed with their thing out where, where you're talking to a character and it's creating the response dynamically mm. for you mm. so it's not going to be the same for me and that's the mm. whole point of like an, a true ai npc so mm. that's what it basically what it's covering is that if there is like an ai character in a game that you can talk to like what you say is not what everybody else is going to say it's called because it's generating the response live um, and for you and for your game world, for your instance, that's mm. not live generated AI content. So it's AI content in terms of like music, art, whatever the case is, but also live generated on the fly content. So basically, um, developers will also have to let Valve know exactly how they're using AI, how the models have been trained. So they want to mm. cover themselves and they're going to have to, you know, part of the agreement with Valve to release the games to say that we take full responsibility, that everything is above board and. You know, we haven't been scraping every Bethesda game or every, you know, CD Projekt Red game and then used to train the AI to, to create great dialogue or oh <laughs> whatever, the case, whatever the case is, whatever. Um, this is going to be a can of Valve, worms. Yeah, exactly. So Valve closes with today's changes are the result of us improving our understanding of the landscape and risks in this space, as well as taking talking to game developers using AI and building AI tools. This will allow us to be much more open to releasing games using AI technology and Steam. So basically, they're opening the floodgates for AI stuff. The only exception is adult-only <laughs> sexual content created with live-generated AI. God damn That's, it! Uh, no, no. <laughs> so there's I'm not kidding. Gonna be any sort of like no, I'm AI kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Damn! <laughs> That's like the only exception. It's like weird. They just throw it in at the end. There. It's like eight, hey, but well, well, I'm not just going to stop no using porn. Steam. Why else do I use Steam then? <laughs> to play all your little anime. Porn games. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, I don't think oh, I can't say that there will be certainly a large percentage of people that will are uh, genuinely upset about that. Oh, but yeah, for sure. No, I would say ninety percent of gamers were like, "Yeah, okay, all right, cool." Um, <laughs> I do like this. Valve is in a bit of a particular spot, and I suppose any um any uh client that hosts games. Like I would like to know how Microsoft feels about this because they're going to be put in the same kind of boat. Um, Valve has essentially said, you can have AI games on our platform, but if you're caught using any assets that are stolen, it's on you, not on us. 
That's right. Yeah, but also yeah, you have to disclose, and and then obviously, and and if that's exposed, as that's the case, then Valve um can just remove it. Mm. No, straight you know, away, and wash their hands of it. Say like, well, it's been brought to our attention, so we've act made acted accordingly because the developer has the agreement explicitly states X X and X because there was nothing because they didn't have any of because this is brand new right this is mm. new territory for game development no yeah. and you know the reason so it basically means that you know up until now Valve has just been rejecting anything with generative AI be, because they didn't know how to handle it mm. really yeah and no I mean them, it's a fair enough move and this is us saying this is Val, sorry this is Valve saying you know this is how we're going to handle it mm. Because I want AI to be used in the construction of my games. I think it can be an additive tool, and I think that's it's so good. sensitive. Um, like I, the way that I think about it is, you know, if you're going to, I don't know, generate a one kilometer by one kilometer landscape, like you don't want Fred, Steve, and George all sitting there for sixteen hours drawing up this landscape. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what, like just program that into they their skills are better utilized somewhere else that's how exactly, i think about it exactly and that sort of stuff is being used in games forever like for a while now. yeah procedural unreal engine is what they called it right like where or like minecraft like every time you load yeah. the map it procedurally generates a new map right yeah and like ai powered procedural generation is like well that's like the next evolution of that so why yeah. not it's yeah better procedural generation but like let's say you've got like boulder's gate for, and like this is never going to happen, but let's because Larry and Studios seems to be you know quite focused on quality and and art and things mm. like that. But let's say they say that like oh the next version of the game like now all the they have to disclose it. So like all music has been created by AI, right? It's been generated mm. by AI because they like oh we can save three hundred thousand dollars by not hiring all those uh, artists, composers, and musicians and whatever yeah. it is. We've we've saved a million bucks, whatever it is, paying all these to create like ten hours of music. So now we've used AI. It sounds a little bit generic, but hey, who cares? Then then you could be like, well, you've that seems like morally wrong because like you you not only not only is it inferior, but you're like you you're withholding employment from people that make a living through creating art in a certain way. I, I'm just going to play devil's advocate on this because I do agree with you. Um, how is that different from procedural generation? Shouldn't the studio then just hire five hundred more developers? Because because um, time thing, things like music and art exist outside of commerce, right? Art is art, and it exists outside of games as well. So, like, if you think about like like music and like image, like you know, let's say, or mm. like character design, this is stuff that. Um, where human expression has, you know, led to it's like amazing things. Uh, so, like, you know, you could argue like landscape some... art, uh, landscapes well, in game like, is perce- art. Yeah, it's not yeah, typical but, 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 art, but like, I believe gaming as a whole is like, may, when you yeah. make a game, it's a beautiful artistic piece. But it's piece. a tool, yeah. Like, you know, like or like speed tree, something that generates a tree, right? Like, so mm. somebody doesn't have to sit there and model a tree. Like, that makes sense. Um, yeah, but I guess you're right. Like, cause like, what's the difference at the end of the day? But yeah. you know, I think there is a, the whole point of like the line's different for everybody. AI, yeah, is that like there is no line. There's no like this. Yeah. Like, this is the law, sort of, so to speak. Like, it's like, and the only like recourse there is at the moment is that well, if AI is being generated, trained on um, artwork created by artists or like this this and this then those people need to be compensated if that's going to be used commercially yeah i agree and that needs to be disclosed and with their permission as well yeah 100 percent. um it will become very very difficult to proportionately deal out like let's just say let's just say a game is found to have assets from artists from 40 different games and then mm. those so I suppose you'd have to divide it 40 different ways, but I was thinking of it more so in terms of like a pure image generation AI tech. So it's like if yeah. that Im- if that image has a million different pieces of artwork in it from a million different people and each of those people are a different percentage of that artwork, 
ha, what then you deal out three percent to this one, zero point zero zero five yeah. to this one, or not? Like how did how is that actually right. done? So that's why I suppose they have to disclose where they got that data from. So if this they is, are found to be caught, yeah. those people can be fairly compensated. Yeah. Now this this is one example that I think. I'm not too sure how I feel that where, where I'm kind of like, I don't, like maybe that's okay. It's like, let's say you've got like an RPG, right? Mm. And you've got a team of artists that have um, drawn like, you know, fantastical characters, um, you know, high fantasy, sci-fi, whatever it is, <clears throat> like main characters, they've like spent ages designing them, drawing them, modeling them. There's modelers, there's artists, you know, concept art and things like that, right? And you've got like a hundred of these. But then because you've got like this huge, it's like a huge world, right? So then you've got, let's say you want to have like 50,000 like other characters that that are just background, right? Mm. So then instead of, because it's not going to be feasible, it's actually not feasible to get this, your team of artists to spend, like you don't have like a year for them to yeah, to, to actually out. do that, yeah. But, but why don't we train an AI model on all the art that they've created for the game so far? Mm. to then just create like the NPC characters, the background yeah. characters. So then they're in the same style and it fits in that mold. Like is that is that crossing the line? I don't know. I see so that could makes perfect sense. Of course you'd want to do that because Yeah, because then you you're doing Because you just want to save the time for feasible. it. Yeah. But it's not feasible in any other way because you can't create like fifty thousand unique characters. This is gonna get um, dicey. bespoke in that style, you know what this is this is like there's so many like there's hundreds of those examples. And yeah. Valve opening the door to it um, is going That's to accelerate big. the discussion. For sure. That is for sure. Um, is that about all you had on that one? Yeah. And yeah, that's oh, we've got to keep our eye on that because I'm sure there's going yep. to be stories popping up of um, indie developers stealing assets from yeah. multiple like Unreal assets, uh, mm. Uni like Unity, all of it. Like they're going to be pinched for whatever. Yeah, like how, they like can even police this stuff. Yeah, right. how, how, yeah, who's going to, And the thing is, know, open, we'll open AI basically said there's no way to train these these generative AI models to be as good as they are without yeah. copyright infringement. Yeah, they basically said that, like one or the other. Like, they said, like, there's no way to do this without scraping the entire internet, right? There's yep. no way to do this without scraping all art or... Which is user data. Video. Yeah. Data, all data contained within these large language models the general ones, the ones that you know about, um, have scraped data from everybody. Yeah. No, like whether that be Facebook's data, which contains most people that are online, um, Messenger, Wikipedia, like it's everyone's data. That's how yeah. they're so good. That's why they're impressive. So with that, you surrender. I mean, well, they didn't really ask. So I no. suppose they just took it That's away why from you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, This anyway. is going to get dicey, and especially with it coming into gaming, um, developers will be very, very like the big dogs, the AAA title developers. Have to tread carefully. Yeah. Well, or they'll got they have to put mm. some kind of like yeah, well, yeah code inside disclosed. of their assets. So like if they are copied in some mm. way, maybe it shows like a watermark yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah, it's like unreal engine <laughs> just across every yeah. asset that's used by the yeah, ai right. to make it <laughs> that would be really funny 